Hello everyone and welcome back to Unforgotten Tech. My name is Gregory Kraus and today we're going to be here in the Eagle Garage talking about battery terminal quick disconnects. We're going to be talking about what they are, how they work, why we would want to use one, and finally we're going to be testing to see if we've connected it properly. All right, before we get started, if you could take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel, and if you have any ideas for future content or just want to get involved in the conversation, please leave a comment below. A quick disconnect terminal is an added piece of equipment that can be installed on a vehicle as to quickly disconnect the negative battery cable without tools. The way a quick disconnect works is that the screw through the middle completes the electrical circuit. When one loosens the screw, it backs off and this opens the circuit causing no electrical current to flow. The reason one would want to use a quick disconnect on a vehicle is for vehicles that sit often without being started and given the chance for the alternator to recharge the battery. While a vehicle sits, there is a constant low voltage drain on the battery. Over time, this can cause the battery to lose enough power to not be able to start the vehicle. All right, now that we know what a quick disconnect terminal is, how it works, why we would want to use one, we're going to go over how to install one and test that it's working properly. All right, let's go over the PPE and tools we'll need for this job. The first PPE will be safety glasses, and then we'll need closed toed shoes. Tools we'll need for this job are going to be a 10 millimeter wrench and a half inch combination wrench. All right, now the first step we're going to do is locate the battery on the vehicle. The second step, we will then remove the negative battery terminal cable. The third step is going to be to install the quick disconnect on the battery terminal. We will want to make sure the quick disconnect is in the open position or unscrewed so that there is no current flowing. The fourth step after positioning the negative battery cable in a way that there is no excessive stress or binding on the cable, we will tighten the cable into position. All right, now the last step we'll take is to test our quick disconnect is connected properly. We will do this by tightening our quick disconnect, allowing it to close the circuit and turning the vehicle to the key on engine off position. Then we'll turn on the headlights, unscrew the disconnect, and the lights should go out, indicating the equipment is connected properly. All right, everybody, now just to recap, today we learned what a quick disconnect for a battery terminal is, how they work, why we would need one, and we also learned how to set one up and test that it's working properly. Well, I want to thank everybody here for joining us here with Unforgotten Tech. We look forward to seeing you next time.